What is your name? My name is Sudaji Chairman What is your name? MSD. Uh, Nigeria of today, so many deaths, avoidable deaths, accidents. Even I myself, I suffered a terrible accident on Sunday. Uh, being in Nigeria, no road, no electricity where you live. Are you happy being in Nigeria at this point? Honestly speaking, I'm not happy because I know that Nigeria of today is not what our past leaders hope that it will be. I'm really, I'm really pissed off with Niger the situation of Nigeria right now, but I don't know. I don't know what else to say. Just know that I'm pissed off. I don't like what I'm seeing and I don't like what I am hearing. That's just it. Uh, do you have interest to join politics in future? Not really. But can you consider that in future? I don't think so. Okay. Uh, what do you feel about Nigeria of today? No need. Given analysis, you see front papers, uh, news headlines, deaths, accidents, deaths, uh, killings, Fulani has men, Yeti Allah, uh, and everybody, Boko Haram and everything. Are you comfortable being in Nigeria at this point? I feel like I went through abortion because this country is just tiring. It's annoying. I mean, looking at the situation at hand right now, I can't boast fully say I'm proud to be a Nigerian. I would love to, like, at least by occupancy, be acquainted in another place instead of Nigeria. Nigeria is really cost. Honestly, Buhari is cost. Everybody in this nation is cost. As far as I'm concerned, we need to start afresh. We need to pack all these people and burn them. <laughs> yes. You mean you need everybody who has to do with politics in Nigeria, past or present, wiped out totally? Exactly. How do we fix Nigeria? Fixing Nigeria. Can Nigeria ever be fixed? With this situation, the problems we are facing, I don't think Nigeria can be fixed. Some people have continued to call for disintegration. Arewa Republic, Odudua Republic, Republic of Biafra. Are you of same vision? Would you like Nigeria to divide into three? If that's going to bring peace to this country, I support it 100%. United Nigeria or a divided Nigeria? We are we ever united? Talking about the Fulani Hess men, they are part of Nigeria, killing our brothers, and you're talking about united. As far as I'm concerned, Nigeria is not yet. I can never be united. As far as I'm concerned, we are all alone. I'm alone. In fact, Oyo is my case. My mother, Oyo, is her case. She gave birth to me, yes, but I'm just on my own. You... So the same way, Fulani Hess men are on their own. We should be alone, on our own as well. So there is nothing like peace in Nigeria. I believe in conflict. Conflict is the best resolution to this matter. <laughs> Take it or leave it. Twist to join politics. Of course, yes. I'm an aspiring politician. Are you already in love with any political party? <laughs> of course, yes. Uh, in, a, in, a, in as much as corruption um, is imbibing all this political uh, aspirants nature, I would actually want to bring up a new, a new party for my own, if possible. Because PDP is corrupt, APC is corrupt, Abga, all of them, they are all corrupt. I feel like, I feel like getting, gathering of them in a congress and setting it on fire. I believe with that way, Nigeria will be better. You feel you can actually lead a revolution? Of course, I can. Okay, what are you studying? I'm studying fisheries technology. What institution? Federal Polytechnic. Is Academy. that what you wanted or what they gave you? I never wanted to study fisheries. Actually, I wanted to do medical lab science. But the situation of the institution where you apply for one course and they'll give you another course, I find myself in fisheries technology. And how deep or did you go to get the course of your choice? I wrote CHAM for three consecutive years. And in these three years, I meet up with a cut off max, but because of you know the politics in the institution today, you apply for one thing and they will give you another thing. I find myself in fisheries department. You mean you are you don't have confidence in the selection process? I don't. The system is corrupt. I think I I know that it is corrupt. I don't even think I know it is corrupt. Have you tried to reach out to higher authorities or anybody uh, to complain or voice out your grievances? Have you done that? I have tried in several occasions and I find out that those people you try to talk to, they will give you the confidence that they are going to help. But at the end of the day, they are the same, the same category, or will I say the same school of, they belong to the same school of thought. Study or study? Communication arts. Uh, what are you doing today? <laughs> Funny enough, I studied um, communication arts as a journalist, but I'm not practicing as a journalist. I once practiced, but I'm not, I, I, I wasn't moved by the money. I mean, how can I be paid peanuts as a journalist? I worked hard, five years, night class and everything, only for me to come out with a good result, and I'm, I'm, pay, I'm, I'm getting 25k as a pay. Uh, I'm better of a laborer than being a journalist. Where did you study? University of Rio. How equipped? 
I'm well equipped. I'm, and I'm an entrepreneur for now. But then the school itself, if you're, if you're talking about the school, <laughs> equipped, they are equipped. But then the lecturers are something else. Being a journalist, how good are you? Are you of the standard of Christian Amampo, Rosemary Church, Biki Anderson, or Pedro Pinto? Let's come down to Nigeria. Charles and Azodo Kalinodo. Are you of their standard? What is the problem? Is it the system or in your inability to match the required standard? Well, for me, I have the ability. But then, like, like my friend here said, Nigeria is corrupt. Politics everywhere, both in school and outside school. When I was a student, I can remember closely, I had an issue with a lecturer who wanted to sleep with me. When I, when I, when I disregarded what he said, what he wanted to do, he said, he insisted, and now what the lecturer did, he failed me. I had to fight for my rights. I believe, I believe in my rights. As a Nigerian, I, I urge all you to fight for their rights. I have never stopped fighting. Even in, in this present lodge, Emirate Lodge, I fought for my rights. So as a, as, as a jury, you should learn to fight for your rights. I fought for my rights, and I resolved the issue. You talked about patriotism. How patriotic are you? How much do you love Nigeria? I love Nigeria so much. Can you go beyond borders? Can you break barriers? Can you do undo for the sake of Nigeria? I'm already breaking barriers. For instance, Rochas Okorocha, the other day, he hosted a party, and I went there for the party to, co to cover up the party. I strictly stood my ground, and I told some of them that are supporting Rochas that Rochas is not taking us anywhere. I mean, if you're really patriotic, you should learn to speak, you should learn to voice out your mind. Okay. Don't be afraid to die for Nigeria. Nigeria is my country. How much do you love Nigeria? On a scale of 1 to 100. Yes. Now, I would say 20. 20 to 100. Yes. Do you ever love Nigeria? I used to. Like... If you have asked me this question 10 years or 12 years back, I will, proud, I will beat up my chest and say I am proudly a Nigerian. But today, I'll bow down my head in shame and say I'm not proud to be a Nigerian. No roads in Nekede. The facilities are terrible. Sometimes you struggle to pump water. Nobody cares about you. In Germany, France, Sweden, Switzerland, Finland, uh, Netherlands, across the European Union, education is free. Infrastructures are there, hunters are there. Uh, in Imo State, here, you pay school fees. Your classes are in sorry situation. Not enough desk. No desktop. No proper or no internet connection. Uh, is Nigeria worth it? Is Nigeria worth dying for? Uh, well, like I said earlier, Nigeria is worth dying for. The word patriotic means, whether good or bad, you're always there. And you are there? Yes, I am there. For, as for what you said, yes, Nigeria is really, really terrible. It's bad. There is no electricity, no good roads and everything. But I believe the cure of Nigeria, the situation we, we find ourselves in today, can be resolved by me and you. Without yes. both of us, Nigeria will still remain the same. Okay. Let's go to the part of presidency. Very crucial, very critical. Whether you love it or you don't love it, whoever stays in Aston Villa 2019 will torment or favor me and you in 2023, which is four years, or huge over a thousand days. Um, Muhammad Buhari's continuation or, or ejection. I'll, I'll stand by ejection, 100%. Who should take the place of Muhammad Buhari? As he stands now, I haven't seen a credible candidate. We still have up to like seven months before the election proper. So, by the grace of God, I think a credible candidate is going to pop up. Do you know any Nigerian man or woman credible enough uh, to stay in Nigeria to greatness? I've not seen any. No credible Nigerian of 190 million Nigerians. Nobody's credible. Uh, like I said before, I have not seen any. Unless tomorrow the person shows up. Are you credible? I, don't, I can't say I'm credible because I don't know what I might do when I enter into that office tomorrow. Because they, they say power corrupts. I don't know. I might say I would do something better. But when I find myself in that situation, I'm going to do worse than Buhari. So I would say I am credible until, uh, until I'm given the chance to prove whether I'm credible or not. Okay. Uh, Mohammed Buhari's continuation or ejection in 2019? And like I earlier mentioned, they should all be born to ashes. Buhari or not? I don't freaking care. PVC, most people go for PVC because they just want to use the register in banks, they want to be noticed, they want to be recognized outside that you have voter's card. But let's look at the right, let's, let, let's look at it really this way. During the election, you said most of us will be indoors, nobody will go out to vote. And we're talking about Nigeria leader and all that. How can we have a good leader when we don't have good followers? Let's ask ourselves these questions. You cannot tell me that you want uh, Buari to continue or to be ejected when you're inside your house. Your, your PVC should speak for you. Step out that they and vote him out. That is what I want. Okay. People have continued to say that what we do in Nigeria is selection and not election. Are you of that thought? I believe 100% because I know vividly the last, last four years I went out to vote. On getting to the polling booth, I found out that in that same polling booth that the election was being rigged of hot because I knew right then and there that my vote didn't count. 
So I think we don't do election, but this country is totally based on selections. You mean you have zero confidence in INEC? I have zero confidence in them. Do you have belief in INEC? Who is INEC? Does INEC exist? As far as I'm concerned, INEC does not exist in my dictionary. Because the last time I checked, you, hundreds of you to come out and give their vote. I mean, looking at Buhari's uh, and uh, Good Luck Jonathan's case, you agree with me that it was mode of selection and not by, uh, how, how will I put it, election. election. Okay, finally, lastly, um, fish is very famous in Australia. If I give you the opportunity to move to Canberra, Sydney, Perth, Adelaide, Melbourne, or to further your studies in fishery, uh, would you take that opportunity or would you stay back and uh, help work Nigeria from 20% to 100%? Like I said earlier, I'm studying fish, not because I love studying it. So I won't like grab the opportunity to go to Australia and study when I know that I don't have passion for it. Unless given another opportunity to do what I like, I'll gladly leave. I won't even have a second thought about eating fishes in another country. I don't think I can do I mean, you need to move and then get into what you should be doing. Yes, I can move out of the country, gain more knowledge in the field I want to, then come back. And build Nigeria? Yes. Any plans to return to journalism full time? Well, um, yes, I have plans to return journalism, but first and foremost, you agree with me that the educational system is really corrupt. I mean, as at now, I'm supposed to be doing my master's, but because the admission um, outside this country, I can't afford to pay for the ticket. How can I have admission? And yet, in my own country, it's, it's, I, I'll, I'll be paying for what they call it. Uh, fishery is very famous.